Hi guys, it's Azim again from Redisco.com. In the previous video tutorial, we implemented uh, this destroy method and our bookstore application is almost done. Uh, but only thing is remaining is the refactoring of uh, these views. So what I meant by refactoring is you guys can see that we are repeating our code. For example, in the in the create view we can see that we are repeating this code and this code and uh, in the edit again we are repeating our code so in order to understand uh, how we can reuse this code you need to understand how views works so for example let me show you another example so views are just like functions you can pass variables to views just like uh, you pass uh, variables to any function and uh, in the view you get that uh, variable with the help of these parameters just like any function so as you know you can call another function in any function just like this you can call view in any other view right i know this is complicated right now but it will make more sense when you will see how it's done right so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, make a template out of this html so for example let me show you what i meant by this this code is not going to repeat in all our application and the code that is going to repeat is is in the body tag right let's create simple file here let's call it layout this is the layout let's copy some code to here the body of our each view changes and the title of uh, our view changes so let's say for example uh, title goes here and the body goes here these are some placeholder where, where we will uh, substitute our title and the body to accept these variables we need to accept it at the top of our view just like any function first is the title which is string and the second argument that we are going to get is the body body and the type of this body is html so we have these two variables body and the title now we can use values of these variables just like this so we have created our template now we can use this template in our view so let me update this view now what we need to do is we need to call this layout so let's say layout and we need to pass the first argument which is the title and in our case title is all books and the second argument is the html and we will specify with the with the help of this block so the html is this now we can remove this code so as you guys can see that it's really really simple now let's do this with others as well let's call layout title create book and the html of the body
again with this as well layout title is edit book and the body is this Our index view is already refactored. Now let's do this for show as well. Book dot title. As you guys can see that our core looks much cleaner now and we are making use of this template. Let's refresh this and let's see it's working or not. Yes, it's working. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. In the upcoming videos, we are going to extend this application instead of using temporary storage we are going to use uh, mysql database to store books in our database